uh, which is which states about the quantity which is 1000 price per unit which is 80 the fixed cost which is 5000 and the variable cost per unit which is 30 and i have calculated the profit so i can show you the formula that how i can i have the calculated profit if you understood that how profit is calculated kindly write yes in the chat window that so that we can proceed further i don't think so the calculating profit will be a big deal for you it's a simple mathematical calculation multiplying per unit selling price and the cost and subtracting it with the quantity so if you understand this profit formula then kindly write yes in the chat window All right, thank you for the feedback. So let's come to the scenario manager. Okay, so first, uh, listen it very carefully. So I, I am I am describing the uh, conceptual side of the scenario manager that how and when you have to utilize the scenario manager. Okay, so basically scenarios are another of Excel what if analysis tool and we know about it and which like the data tables as well and and um, when I will switch to the example practically, so you can get an idea that how it can be utilized. And uh, also we have some very good features in the scenario, scenario manager as well. So scenarios are basically like different versions of the same worksheet models and uh, which each version using a different set of input values. We can define uh, different input values, more than two even, which was not in, in the case of Google seeking a data table, right? And before creating a scenario, you need to construct your model on the worksheet and decide which cells to be the input cells or the changing cells. So we need to very carefully define them, okay? And uh, to make it easier, you create scenarios to make the resulting summary reports more comprehensible, okay? So let's quickly jump to the scenario practically, and we will be creating three different scenarios which are already written on your screen that is based, present, and the base best, okay? let's start so for applying the scenario manager what we need to do is we we will go to the data tab what if analysis and we will click on scenario manager okay so there will be a dialog window of scenario manager will appear on your screen and we have some multiple options available and i will try to explain it so the first as by default there is no scenarios has been created so first we need to create a scenario so for doing that we need to click on add button okay so when we click on add button first uh, field is saying as that define the name of the scenario so let's say first we define the base scenario okay the second field says which cells you need to change in this scenario so i need to change two uh, cells the first one is price per unit that's the selling price and the second one is variable cost per unit because fixed cost will remain the same so I would like to change cell B4. And if you want to change multiple cells, you have to add comma space and then select the next cell. Okay. And I will come to this protection side, which says the prevent changes in the height. I will discuss this later on after I will finish this example. That when we can use this prevent changes in the height option in the in the scenario manager. But first, let me quickly review. First, we define the name of the scenario. Then the changing cells. Okay, so we we are in uh, in our case we need to change two cells, and I will press OK. So when I press OK, the scenario va uh, values screen now appear, and on those two cells I need to set a value. So for example, I need to set price per unit to a lower side, which is seventy. For example, my new value will be seventy of price per unit, and my variable cost per unit will be 25 in the base scenario okay and i will click ok so now you can see that you have a base scenario available on your spreadsheet okay now we will add two more scenarios which is the present and the best one so for the present again i will click on add button i will define a name to it and i need to change these two cells b4 and b6 which is absolutely right and i will press ok so so for the present scenario, definitely we will go with the present prices, which are price per unit 80 and variable cost per unit is 30. So now we have two scenarios and then we have uh, 
the last scenario which is the best scenario so we will again click on add button we will define the name of the scenario uh, definitely we want to change the b4 and b6 in our case but remember that in your case if you are working on a pnl or any other kind of a report you might have uh, more than two or three variable as well okay so now in the best scenario i need to increase the price per unit which will be 120 and the variable cost per unit will be now we have three different cases base present and the best now the awesome part of this utility scenario manager is for example if your manager says convert this entire data into the best scenario i need to analyze this current scenario in the best scenario so as we know we have already defined the best scenario variables within this scenario manager feature so what we can do is i will just click on best and i will click on show button so as I as soon as I click on show button, as you can see that on the back end, price per unit and the variable cost per unit changes. And ultimately, we can see that if company can go with the best scenario, it can earn a profit of 65,000. Now, later on, if, if the manager says, what if, if we go for the base case? So I will click on base and I will click on show. So if the company goes with the best base scenario case, definitely the profit will reduce or decrease, right? So ultimately, we can change the scenarios one by one, okay, uh, in, in the scenario manager. But what if, if we have created three scena different scenarios and we need to see all them together, we need to see all them together in a different spreadsheet. So yes, we have that option available as well. So we, you can see there is an option called summary. When I click on summary, and it shows it gives me a two options either create a scenario summary or create a pivot table of the scenario so first we will try to create a scenario summary and i will press ok so as I, as soon as i create a scenario summary you can see that on one spreadsheet we can see three different scenarios at one time right now there is one limitation uh, or might be your question comes in you can say uh, Raheem sir, instead of this B4, B6, and B7, I need the names of these variables because I, I can't see the names here and, and I need to, either I need to link manually. No, that's not the case. If this kind of situations comes in where you see the absolute cell references and instead of these cell references, you need to get the names of, of the uh, line items. So let me tell you a quick technique and we will improve our scenario summary sheet. For doing that, for getting a names in the scenario summary sheet, what you need to do is basically you need to give the names to these cells. And there is a concept called named ranges. I hope that some of might of you have an idea that what are name ranges. Basically, we define a name ranges. We give a name of our own choice in Microsoft Excel. It can be related to one cell. It can be related to multiple arrays as well. So for for giving a quickly name to a cell, there there are multiple ways to do it. The first way is go to the name box, type type the name manually. The second way is go to the formulas tab, and, and from the name manager you can define a name of that cell. But let me show you one very good technique, giving multiple cells names within a second. Okay, so defining all the cell names, giving them names. What I will do is I will select this entire range, okay, these four lines, and I will go to formulas tab. I will click on create from selection. And here from the create from selection window, I will select left column. Now, why I am choosing the left column here? Because these cells will be defined names, but those names will be picked by the left column. Okay, so this 1000 cell, which is B3, will be given a name which is called quantity from the left side. So all the names are presented on the left side. That's why we, we are choosing left column. So that this means all these four number cells will be defined a name from the left side. Okay, and when I press OK, and then I will go to the name manager, you can see that within seconds, all these four cells has got their names, right? Now let's see if I create a scenario manager now 
so instead of those absolute cell references could we find out the names proper names or not so for doing that what we can do is we will go to the data tab what if analysis and we will click on scenario manager and we know that we have already defined three scenarios so i will quickly jump to the summary part and i will click on okay so now as you can see that price instead of b4 it's giving us price per unit instead of b5 it's giving us variable cost per unit a proper name of the report okay a proper name of the report now why b7 is being uh, allocated here because i have not defined the cell profit here for example if i define uh, the cell b7 into a profit name and when i regenerate the summary this will also not show we do it data tab what if analysis scenario manager and a summary so now as you can see that whatever names we will be defining for those cell will, will appear in the scenario summary spreadsheet okay now the last part of this webinar and i am going quickly because we have another webinar at 4 regarding the spss so that's why i have choose uh, this short webinar technique for the power learning hours regarding to the what if analysis so the last thing which is remaining for our this webinar is uh, that uh, you have seen two features which is called prevent and hide and then we will be using those features right so prevent changes uh, prevents users uh, from modifying the scenario at a later date a later time this will only take effect when the worksheet is protected so it happens that when you share a financial model with someone else you you protected the sheet so you don't want to uh, prevent the changes of of your scenarios right in that case you use the prevent changes and about the hide hide prevents the user from being able to see the scenario when the workbook is open so that's how you can hide the scenario from the user as well okay but that's all from my part for this webinar and i hope you find it uh, useful that how we can use the goal seek data table and the scenario manager in different kind of financial models and the reports it's all depends on the situation on the data which you are using and i hope uh, you will be able to follow uh, the exercise file which i will share after this webinar so thank you so much for joining this webinar and for those who have been registered for the next webinar we will see you at 4 inshallah thank you